So I told you guys uh, the other day my crazy ass story about how the Baltimore bridge that collapsed, I was supposed to be on that bridge on that day. To be fair, I would have been, you know, five, six hours before the actual collapse. Uh, so I would have survived. But it's just crazy to think that I was supposed to be on that bridge on that day. I put off my trip to New York to the next day because I was tired and I had just done a show and I was like, I'll just go in the morning. And uh, come the morning, that option wasn't even available to go over that bridge because it no longer exists. I had to go straight uh, on 95, I-95. Um, that, that was wild. But uh, there's been a bunch of these stories brewing now where apparently fucking everybody online has colossal brainworms. Just, I mean, the, the dumbest, most insane conspiracy theories blaming the most ridiculous things for this bridge collapse. I have never seen a more, a more platonic ideal example of an accident than what happened with that bridge. You had the power go out on this giant ship, so they made it, so the wind was affecting them a lot. They dropped anchor following protocol. They dropped anchors. One anchor hit the ground a little too soon. It shifted the direction of the boat and ended up hitting the bridge. All it took was a little love tap for that bridge from the 1970s to come crumbling down. So, classic example. Alex Jones is out there like, eh, this looks intentional to me. What the fuck are you talking about? What are you talking? People just say shit. They just say shit. There's no, I'm just going to like, um, my mouth is going to move and sounds are going to come out. Am I attached to it, that, that making sense? No. <laughs> like, this is, this is how people act. So now we're going to go through a list. A list of the things that were blamed for the uh, the bridge collapse and the boat hitting the bridge. Okay. First, we go to this Stone Talks comics guy who's a far-right extremist. Apparently, he was just outed recently. Uh, and there was, it was a big thing on left Twitter. But this guy said, here we go, the cartoon. But our economy needs more foreign workers. Boom. Bridge collapses. So apparently, foreign workers are to blame. Okay, next. This guy says, Chinese container ship. Okay, so now it's China's fault. Um, the lockdown? All right, got to hear this one. You know, as I said, you look at our critical infrastructure, and I, I'm one of these people that believes we've never fully come out of all the lockdowns and the, and the COVID issues. The COVID lockdowns came up in a discussion about the bridge collapse. We got this idiot blaming Hamas. My initial assessment of bridge collapse due to the main support column being struck by a ship in Baltimore is that it is more likely than not intentional. I worked several I worked several Al Qaeda Hamas cases while in the FBI and since and found verified by state intelligence agencies Al Qaeda and Hamas targeted key bridges to shut down exfil abilities so they could conduct significant level follow on attacks. This may be that or this may be an accident. I lean strongly towards not an accident. The fact FBI and DHS say it is not terrorism is a key indicator. It is. FBI and DHS have been wrong 100% of the time. They initially say it's not terrorism. Homie's really blaming Hamas for a giant container ship hitting an old bridge and the bridge collapsing. These people don't even engage in the facts of what happened. What about the power going out? What about the Mayday call? What about the dropping the anchors? What about- What are we doing here? Everybody's lost their goddamn mind. Or is this just like a hot takes economy? Where everybody cares so much- Oh my god, attention! Give me attention! Give me, 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 they're going to take out a bridge in Baltimore? Like, what the fuck are you saying? Uh, Rick Weil somehow blamed Russia? What? The ship that struck the FSK bridge mysteriously lost electrical power. NATO dreams about collapsing the Crimean bridge. Did Russia just demonstrate its ability to bring down a bridge without explosions? Was the ship disabled by a directed energy weapon? <laughs> Ukraine funding was brought up. That kid, C.J. Pearson, who was a conservative pundit, then he went liberal for like seven seconds, now he's back to conservative. Breaking, a ship just collided with the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore, causing it to collapse, with multiple motorists reported missing. Maybe instead of sending billions to Ukraine, we should be spending it on our own roads and bridges instead. Look, to be fair, I understand the argument of, we're spending all this money overseas, like what, we need to spend more here. But, this guy's a hardcore Republican. Tell me who voted against the infrastructure bill. 
Tell me who voted against the Chips and Sciences Act. Tell me who voted against the IRA. So this is the classic, well, let's stop the Ukraine funding and do and, and take care of our people here. And then those same people turn around and say, get a fucking job, you homeless prick, you shouldn't get any help. Like, what are we talking, what are we doing here? DEI, of course they were going to blame DEI. Shipping giant Maersk confirmed that the that the Dolly ship, operated and managed by Synergy Marine Group, collided with the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Maryland around 1.27 a.m. Synergy Marine Group promotes DEI in their company. Did anti-white business practices cause this disaster? Because, you know, white people are functionally incapable of having accidents. If a white guy was on that ship uh, and was the captain, it definitely wouldn't have lost power. These people. Oh, what am I going to do with these people? Here's another one. Let's take the money... Needed for the new Baltimore Bridge from all the dollars we're sending to Iran. Period. We're not sending any money to Iran. To the extent any money was ever sent to Iran, it was us. We had stolen their money. And then when we made the Iran nuclear agreement, we said, here, we will give you back your own money in exchange for the IAEA going in there and making sure you're not creating a nuclear weapon. That was the, had nothing to do with U.S. taxpayer money. Oh, uh, oh, uh, why do I even do this fucking show? What am I doing? What am I doing? It's nothing I say, no matter how factual, no matter how backed up, nothing's going to get through with these fucking people. Nothing. Oh, here we go. This one's my favorite. And this is the last one. Maria Bartiromo talking about the uh, bridge collapse. Listen to what she says. You've been talking a lot about the potential for wrongdoing or potential for foul play given the wide open border. That is why you have been so adamant. Why has the Republicans had such a hard time securing this border? The president says he's not going to take his uh, executive action. You know that. Now, I saw the longer clip of this. I saw the longer clip. She literally starts by talking about the bridge collapse, and immediately says, open border, bro. Immigration. You've been talking a lot about the potential for wrongdoing or potential for foul play given... Talking about the bridge. ...wide open border. That is why you have been so adamant. Why has the Republicans... Sir, so talking about the bridge, search and rescue underway, and it's but the fucking open border, bro. We gotta be safe and stuff, man. Ah... <sighs> Look, things in it's not like things in the past were good, right? We had before social media, we had the massive propaganda effort to get us into Iraq illegally. Uh, so the media landscape was a hellscape, no doubt about it. They built that propaganda for a long time and pushed the population to be pro-war in the wake of 9/11. But at least back then it required a massive amount of propaganda to get people to believe the dumbass thing that Saddam Hussein was working with Osama bin Laden. It required people the default was like, well people aren't really going to buy this. We really got to make an effort to make them buy this. Now in the age of social media, every Tom Dick and Harry can go out there and go viral and say the dumbest fucking shit you imagine and by the end of the day, there's thousands who believe in each version of the conspiracy over the world's most obvious accident. Losing hope, y'all. I'm losing hope. I'm losing hope that not only that truth will prevail, but that anybody even gives a fuck about truth anymore. If you can't look at the facts of this case and immediately conclude this is an accident, I'm sorry. You're a moron. You're just a dumbass. And if it's not that, then you're just doing it on purpose to try to go viral by purposefully saying the dumbest shit ever. But what am I going to do with this stuff, man? I don't know, guys. You tell me. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop, and watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.